Welcome and join me in a reflection about sustainable development and ocean solutions. Let us recall some of the amazing facts about the ocean. 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by ocean. The oceans provide 95% of the space for living creatures on our planet. They concern about 97% of the Earth's water. And over 3 billion people use that ocean space for 15% of their food and of their interaction. About 20% of the world population lives no more than 30 kilometers away from the beach. About 80% of the world population lives no more than 200 kilometers away from the coast. The ocean market value is estimated to be at the level of 3 trillion US dollars. It supports about 200 million jobs around the planet. And yet, when we look at the oceans, they're also affected by human activity. We estimate that about 30% to 40% of the ocean surface are already affected by human activities due to fishing, due to transport, pollution, climate change, habitat loss. So now what we're thinking about, what is the space for solution in this? We have seen a big cycle of decline. We have seen our quest for materials around the world that didn't stop at the shoreline. We're taking sand of the ocean, we're taking fish out of the ocean, we're taking materials out of the ocean, and there's an increasing amount of activity in the deep sea. And finally, there's fishing. Too many fishes uh, caught by humans, too big fishing fleets, having too effective ways in which to extract the fish out of the ocean so that they can regrow. On the other hand, we have climate change, limiting biodiversity, limiting in the temperature evolution, it's warming, it's expanding, it's more becoming more acidic, and all of that combined with weak ocean governance has really put ocean at the peril or in a challenging space where we see decline. So where's the solution? When we think about sustainable development, we have the five P's. P for prosperity, partnership, peace, people, and planet. Now all these five dimensions have an ocean piece to it. Prosperity due to ocean resources. Partnership, the ocean connects us around the world. Peace, the ocean allows for war but also for peace. You, the people, live on land but interact with the ocean. So the ocean is important in all dimensions of sustainable development. It's no surprise that the goal 14 of the Sustainable Development Goals is focusing on the ocean. It talks about, let us conserve and sustainably use the ocean, seas, and coastal zones for sustainable development for you, for me, and for everybody on this planet. It's an ambitious goal, and we should think about having hard targets and really pull through on them so we can have a more sustainable ocean. Let's specifically improve the way we govern the ocean. Ocean governance is not coherent. It's piecemeal. There is no global governance. States do things, regions do things, and they're not adding up to a large piece of integrated governance. That's true at the state level, at the regional level, at the UN level. Let's think about an implementing agreement to the law of the sea where we can actually say that a part of the ocean, ideally 10 or 20 percent, are protected. Let's think about fisheries. Let's end overfishing by stopping subsidies. Subsidies are run at the level of 23 billion euros globally. That's more than the gains of Apple. That's two times to run the Olympics in London, and it's about 10 times of the Space Agency of Europe. That's amazing and also appalling. These subsidies lead to too big fish, too much technology, and they take too much fish out of the ocean, and there's no time to regrow. Let's think about stopping illegal, unreported, and illegitimate fishing. And how do we do this? Well, you and I in our states can close our ports to illegal fishing and we can make sure that only certified fish enters into our market that will not allow a market for illegally unregulated fish around the globe. Let's keep the plastics out of the ocean. There's an enormous amount of plastics in our society. Roughly 300 million tons are produced annually of plastics and about 4% of that, 5 million tons, enter into the ocean space. That is the same amount, 5 million tons globally, of plastic coming into the ocean that we get tuna out of the ocean. Let's ban or think about how we're going to do offshore operations. 
there is no regulation how to do it in a safe and environmental friendly way. Some states have it doing it wonderfully, other states don't care. We need a regime that has a coherent way how we protect our oceans from the adverse effect of drilling. Let's think about to establish a board, a global ocean accountability board, that really puts scorecards out to you and to me and to our nation and says, you're doing great. Do more of that, you get a yellow or a green flag for that. Let's really think about accountability at the regional, local and global scale. Accountability is a big challenge. Let's think about the high seas as a resource, maybe even a reserve. One of the most amazing proposals I have heard that people say it makes economic and ecological sense to close the high seas, that is everything which is farther away than 200 miles from shore, to fishing completely. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Only 1% of the fishing that we do is exclusively done in the high seas. 40% of the fishing that we do straddles both the high seas and the economic zones. And if we would shut down fishing in the high seas, the economic zones would do a lot better. A great and interesting proposal. But above all, I think we need to improve ocean literacy around the globe. You are studying the ocean now, but how about your fellow students, your friends, your family, your fellow citizens? Are they aware of how the ocean works? Are they aware of the great things that the ocean provides for us? And are they aware of the challenges and solutions of that? So ocean literacy, I think, is a wonderful opportunity for us all to think more about the ocean and to think about new ways to engage with this vast sea. In my mind, one of our greatest challenges for societies of today is really thinking about sustainable development. How can we take you and me, our fellow citizens, on a pathway that is more sustainable, that allows us to occupy the safe and just operating space on the planet, and the ocean is part of the, that solution. You and I and our fellow citizens can think more about it or what the solution space is, and together let's explore how this ocean can be sustained for us today and in the future and for generations to come.